if you know, it's freezing in it. Um, good news, it seems to have feed over sent out the, the first of the replacement bikes with the new beefier frames on them. Um, I've been chatting to a fellow in San Diego, California, a uh, fellow called Chris, who's very kindly, kindly sent me over some pictures and uh, some of his thoughts on his, his new bike as he was putting it together and checking it all out. So a bit of a heads up as to what we can expect um, from a real customer. Um, so I'm just going through the photos and discussing what what Chris has said. So as you can see, the frame's been beefed up on the seat tube. Um, I don't know if this is another area that they identified as being a problem or whether they've just been a bit careful, but it looks good. There's another view of it. Um, also, just as an aside, as you can see at the bottom of the picture there, it's still got a PAS type sensor, so a, a cadence sensor rather than um, a torque sensor, which in the press release feed I put out, the pic it didn't say there was going to be a cadence uh, or a torque sensor, but the picture they used looked remarkably like a torque sensor, um, but it's not. So it's the same type. However, Chris has said that it's a lot smoother than uh, the previous one, which some people found it a bit sharp, the mark, a bit jerky. So that's good news. They've uh, made life a little bit nicer for us. And there's another view showing that they've uh, modified the height of the seat tube. They've dropped it right down. Come back to that in just a second. And there's the luggage rack, which I can't tell from the picture, but uh, Fido said they're going to make that a bit narrower to make life a little bit easier for carrying luggage. And that's the problem area. So this is the, the new one. And the tube that they've welded in from the fork tube to the frame, it looks from the picture that Chris has sent, um, it looks beefier than the original one. It looks a thicker tube. And this is the picture that Fido put out a couple of weeks ago of what they were gonna do. You can see a great big sort of patch I don't know what else to call it. Um, and that's not on, on the new bike. Um, but the, the tube looks in that picture to be, like the bracing tube, looks to be thinner than the one that they've actually used. So maybe they decided that it's better to use a thicker tube and not have this, this kind of patch on it. Um, but from what Chris was saying, he's, um, he's been around the frame and sort of tapped on it and it sounds more solid than the old one. So that's that's promising, good news. And here's the, the seat post. And he's measured it, that the new one is 12 centimetres, what's that, about five inches shorter than the old one. Um, so I'm slightly, excuse me, I'm slightly kind of concern that it may not be high enough for me. I'm, I'm six foot two and I like to have the seat quite high. Uh, I mean, obviously, I, as he pointed out, I could use the, the old one, uh, on the, the old post on the new bike. So hopefully I should still get the same uh, height off the ground. Uh, but obviously if you were a taller rider buying one new, it might possibly be a bit on the, on the low side. Um, I can't see how they could get that much height on it, but if you know better, if you've got a new one, let me know. If you're a tall person, you know, does it reach high enough for you? I'd, I'd like to know. Um, and then onto the brakes. There's a few views of these lovely disc brakes. He, he's over the moon with them. Um, locking the wheels up much smoother. Uh, hasn't got the sponginess that the, the old mechanical disc brakes used to have. So these are all hydraulic. Um, 
brilliant. It's it's what everyone, well, nearly everyone was raving that it that it should have had from the start. Really, was hydraulic brakes, big, heavy, fast bike. It, it pays to have decent brakes, doesn't it? So, uh, well done, Fido, for listening. Um, what else was there to talk about? Oh, the, the display. The um, the display that Chris has got on, on his one, his new one, is the same as I was sent as a replacement for the original. So what they were putting on them to start with, me and many others um, found the uh, LED display to be too dim in, in bright sunlight. So they brought out this one, which is much brighter, and it's in miles an hour and kilometres, and it has a odometer on it, so the early one didn't have that, so you know how far you've been. So, yeah, it was a good upgrade, but again, in their blurb a few weeks ago, Fido said that they were putting a um, an LCD display on, quite a big, big one, um, but they, that hasn't come out yet. And also, a couple of weeks ago, another fellow was, was sent a replacement bike, which had the brakes in, but his one didn't have the hydraulic brakes on it. So all I can suspect is that it's, it's going to be a few variations in spec. Um, I'm, again, I'm, I'm only guessing that they're using up the parts they've got or waiting for that new parts to come in. So there'll probably be a bit of a transition where some bikes have... A variation in in the parts on them until they're all you know all their parts bins are full of the same the same bits. Um, but yeah, overall, it sounds to me like like Chris is is chuffed with this. So thanks, Chris. Thanks for sharing that with us, mate. Um, good to see. Good to know what we can expect. Um, we we've been told that it'll be in the middle of November. I mean, today's the fifth. So we've got what, 10 days, they're about to roughly await. Um, so really looking forward to opening the box and seeing exactly what we're getting. But if it's anything like, like what Chris got today, then I'll be well, well chuffed with it, as long as I can fit on it properly, of course. So anyway, good news. If anything else happens, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching and uh, keep safe.